Question 1. From a point on the ground, 125 meter from the base of a building, angle of elevation to the top of the building is 60 degrees. Find the height of the building. Now these questions which I am doing in this set of videos are related to angle of elevation and angle of depression and we are trying to solve these problems using our special triangles and therefore I have very carefully taken all the angles as 60 degrees, 30 degrees and 45 degrees to give you a practice of uh, how to apply special triangles and then I hope by the end of this set you will remember your special triangles. Correct? Most of the problems uh, of similar kind which will come in the test may not have 60, 30 or 45 degrees these angles could be 52 degrees, 43 degrees or something like that where you need to use your calculator to find sine of those angles, cotangent of angles, tan of the angles, right, whatever, correct? But here we will use our special triangles and try to avoid calculators. I am also not going to calculate the final answer in decimals using calculators because the whole exercise here is to get an idea of doing the problem without the calculators, right? We'll have many, many problems after this set where the calculator will be a must, correct? But I think we can avoid it for at least these couple of questions. Now let's get back to the problem. From a point on the ground, 125 meters from the base of the building, so let's say, let's say, well, let's try to skip. That's the ground, okay? And let's, that's the building. So let's make a building, right? That's our building, correct? A point on the ground 125 meter from the base of the building the angle of elevation to the top of the building is 60 degrees so what is angle of elevation that's that's the main thing now let's say well this is the top of the building and let's say well this is my so the angle of elevation is the angle which you make with the horizontal that is angle of elevation looking upwards so this angle when you look upwards then this angle is called the angle of elevation and given to us is 60 degrees. So remember, angle of elevation is when you are looking upwards, it is along from the ground to up, right? So that is the angle. So this is 60 degrees as shown in the figure and that's your ground and this is your building. Let's say the building is A, B and this point is C from you where you are looking at the top of the building, right? Now you're also given that from a point on the ground 125 meters from the base of the building. That means CB, the distance is 125. And you need to find height of the building. Height is this H, right? Now that forms a right triangle. Now in this right triangle, what we see is we know the adjacent side and we know, want to find the opposite. So whenever you are dealing with a situation where you know you are relating adjacent and the opposite side, the trigonometric ratio to deal with is tan and therefore we will write tan 60, right? So we use tan 60 to solve this problem because 60 is the angle and tan is opposite over adjacent. So in this case opposite is the height which we need to find and adjacent is something which we know, right? That is the reason why we take tan, the trigonometric ratio, to solve this problem. And now what is tan 60? We can always use a calculator to find what tan 60 is, but here I am giving you a practice to remember and to see how your special triangles can help you. So let's make this special triangle, right? So the special triangle, tan 60, if you remember, if not, try to remember, okay, is the one which has the sides as 1, 2 and square root 3 and this angle is 60 degrees, correct? Tan is opposite over adjacent. So tan 60 can be written as square root 3 over 1. You need not write but I am just writing for some comparison because opposite over adjacent, right? So tan 60 can be written as square root 3 which is equal to height over 125, correct? Now you can cross multiply and get the height of the building. So height is equals to 125 times square root 3. The units will be meters, correct? The units in which this distance is given to us. And therefore, the exact answer for this will be 
that the height of the building is one twenty five square root three right at times they may give you a problem saying round your answer to one decimal place or to a whole number or to tenth then use your calculator and then round the answer accordingly correct here what you have understood is what is angle of elevation correct always angle of elevation will be measured from the horizontal looking upwards and the angle made between the horizontal and the line of sight correct that is angle of elevation correct now angle of depression will be when you are looking downwards it's like kind of like this that is your horizontal and when you are looking downwards this angle is your angle of depression right so we'll take some questions on elevation and depression and then i think by the end of these five six videos you should understand both the things that means angle of elevation depression and application of special triangles correct and then we will move on to the next topic thank you